The Slender Man was created as a forum creature, but over time, it eventually turned into an imagined reality for the audience. This man is known for his abnormal height, abnormal face, but formal attire. These are the facts you should know about Slender Man. On June 10, 2009, on the internet forum held Photoshop contest. The challenge, posted on comedy website Something Awful, encourages people to take photos regularly and make them look scary by adding realistic ghosts or monsters. The Slender Man character was created by a man from Florida named Eric Knudsen on the internet. He later used the name Victor Surge for the online world. Slender Man has a featureless face, also known as a faceless man wearing a black suit. Creepista is the best online hub for horror stories and paranormal encounters. Each horror fiction installment on the site is called a Creepista, a term derived from the 4chan term, Kapipista, which means a similar looking block of code. Other notable Creepistas include a vicious husky named Smile Dog and Jeff the Killer, a Night Stalker character without an eyelid. Slender Man was immediately given his own page on the site, solidifying his legend as a true internet monster with his supposedly powerful network of believers, fans, first-person encounters, and sightings. Slender Man haunts them with his and grows into them psychologically. When they finally believed him, he ended up taking great control over them. The character is also suspected of inspiring the shocking attempted murder case in the United States in 2014. Two 12-year-old girls stabbed their peers 19 times in a forest in Milwaukee. Luckily, the victim survived. Then Slenderman went viral on the internet as a terror-spreading creature that kills people's lives influences other people to commit crimes, and kidnaps children. On June 5, 2014, in Hamilton County, Ohio, a woman called police who had been attacked with a knife. The attacker was a 13-year-old girl. The mother was treated for injuries to her face, neck and back, said his daughter had a history of mental illness and an obsession with the slender man legend she had read online. Then in Port Ritchie, Florida, a single mother and her nine-year-old son wake up to a fire in their house. Her 14-year-old daughter had burned by starting a fire with bleach in a rum-soaked cloth. The girl had admitted that she had read a lot about the legend of the slender man on the internet. He expressed regret for having set the fire on fire. He even texted his mom to ask if everyone was okay. To do physical damage, manipulate objects and destroy evidence, Slender Man uses proxies both humans and other entities. It is widely believed that he strips individuals of almost any free will or personality, turning them into mindless puppets. Proxies are usually unaware that they are being influenced by Slender Man and will meet a sad end once their usefulness wears off. Because hunted by terrified parents and an obsessive media, Knudsen finally made a public, albeit brief, appearance. I am deeply saddened by the tragedy in Wisconsin and my heart goes out to the families of those affected by this horrific act," he announced through a journalist. Keep away from terrible events. He has not spoken to the media since.